Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Mathematics Parshala. This is a problem of Mathematical Science CSIR UGC NET June 2023. The question ID is 704077. This is another problem of linear algebra. And this is probably a basic problem. Uh, given V and inner product space and V1, V2, V3 be three orthogonal vectors. Then which of the following okay. statements are true? First, uh, see here, there is a confusion in this question because uh, there is not given that V1, V2, V3 are non-zero. If it is given that V1, V2, V3 both are non-zero or orthonormal vectors, then uh, we can approve this easily just uh, by uh, some calculation. And since it is not given here, so it may be happen that V1, V2, V3 all are 0. Then see, then this uh, option 1, option 2, option 3 and option 4, uh, anyone will not be the correct option. Because then these vectors, number option 1 says that the vectors this can be extended to a basis of V. So all these will be 0. So, uh, zero vector, we cannot extend the basis from a zero vector because any uh, set of vectors uh, having zero is uh, not be extended to a basis. Always that will be linearly dependent. So, in similar manner, uh, two, three, four, anyone will not be a, uh, will cannot be extended to a basis. So, this is a confusion in this question that if it is not given that v1, v2, v3 are not 0, then option 1, 2, 3, 4, all are not correct option. So now uh, let us try to solve this problem by assuming that v1, v2, v1, v2, v3 all are non-zero vector. So we just assume to solve this question that all this v1 is non-zero, v2 is non-zero, and v3 is non-zero. So now let us try to solve this problem. So now this is an easy problem probably. Now uh, we have to examine for option 1. For option 1 we have to examine this. These vectors can be extended to a basis of v. So this is very clear that if we can show that these vectors are linearly independent then by extend, uh, extension theorem it can be said that this can be extended to a basis of v. So we only check that this is linearly independent or not. So for this, let us consider the relation C1 V1 plus V2 plus 2 V3 plus C2 V2 plus V3 plus C3 V2 plus 3 V3 equal to 0 null vector so just apply the inner product with v1 of this vector so we get c1 of v1 plus v2 plus 2 v3 plus c2 v2 plus v3 plus c3 v2 plus 3 v3 comma v1 and this is also 0 because this is 1 0 so from this we get simply c1 norm v1 square plus all this c1 v2 v1 will be 0 c1 2 v3 v1 will be 0 uh, as v1 v2 v3 are orthogonal so uh, c2 v2 v1 will be 0 and c2 uh, v3 v1 will be 0 then c3 v2 v1 0 c3 v3 v1 0 so this is also 0 so we get 0 so we are we have, we have assumed that non v1 uh, uh, 
uh, v1 non zero so non v1 non zero so we get c1 equal to zero now similarly we calculate this vector with the inner product v2 equal to zero and finally we get from this thus simple by having simple calculation just you uh, this find by yourself c1 plus 2 uh, uh, we get c1 plus c2 plus c3 we get c1 plus c2 plus c3 and similarly this with v3 by calculating we get just 2c1 plus c2 plus 3c3 so now what we have putting c1 equal to 0 we get from this we get c2 plus c3 0 and putting c1 0 here we get c2 plus 3 c3 0 now subtract on subtraction we get c3 0 so then putting c3 0 in any of these two equations we have c2 0 so actually we get c1 c2 c3 or 0 uh, uh, all are 0 so these vectors are linearly independent so this set of these vectors can be extended to a basis of v so this is a correct option Mind it if we assume v1, v2, v3 are all non zero. Now <coughs> look at option 2. Exactly in similar manner, we can prove all those options. See, uh, option 2 says that can be extended to an orthogonal basis of v. So, see, if we take first 2, if we take first 2, then what we get? v1 v2 plus 2v3 and consider the inner product of first two vectors v2 plus v3 so we get v2 v2 we get this from this uh, v2 v2 that is norm v2 square plus 2v3 v3 norm v3 square all other uh, elements are zero so this is actually a positive quantity so this is not equal to zero so since these two vectors are not orthogonal this set of vectors cannot be extended to an orthogonal basis of v if uh, if we get an orthogonal set of vectors then we can extend this set of vectors to an orthogonal basis of v so option 2 is not a correct option now look at option 3 this cannot uh, these uh, three vectors can be extended to a basis of v or not so for this we just calculate exactly in similar manner uh, oh, actually uh, no need to calculate see here this is easily shown that uh, this is for option 2 just uh, we are writing here for option 3 see uh, if we just uh, if we just take the first vector as x1, the second vector as x2 and the third vector, sorry, first vector by x denote, the second vector by y and the third vector we denote by z, then we get z minus 2y equal to actually, see this 2v1 plus v2 plus 3v3 minus 2y that means v2 plus v3 equal to this 2v1 this 2v1 minus v2 uh, plus v3 Uh, sorry, z minus 2, uh, this is z minus 2y, so, no, actually, we will show here that uh, z minus 2x, sorry, z minus 2x, so x is our here v1, uh, let me write again, z is our 2v1 plus v2 plus 3v3, and, Two uh, z minus two x. So this is z minus two x. 
this is our x is our v1 plus v2 plus 2 v3 so what we get we get by this calculation we get uh, minus v2 minus v3 so this is actually our minus y so we have a relation that is our minus 2x plus y plus z equal to 0. So clearly this x, y, z are linearly dependent vectors. So this cannot be extended to a basis of d. So option 3 is not a correct option. Now look at option 4. This can be extended to a basis of v. So exactly in similar manner as 1, we have to calculate this. So for option 4, or option 4 similarly just calculate consider the relation c1 v1 plus v2 plus 2 v3 plus c2 2 v1 plus v2 plus v3 plus c3 2 v1 plus v2 plus 3 v3 equal to 0 and exactly the, the same calculation as in option 1 that this thing with v1 taking this inner product equal to 0 and from this we get from this we get uh, <coughs> c1 see only this uh, v1 with v1 will be non v1 square and the other v2 with v1 will be 0, v3 with v1 will be 0. So in this way, if we just, uh, since we have non v1 uh, not equal to 0, we get finally c1 plus uh, 2c2, c1 plus 2c2 plus 2c3 equal to 0. And then calculate these things, take this as 1 calculate these things with inner product v2 equal to 0 and from this we have c1 plus c2 plus c3 equal to 0 this is take at option 2 and then exactly in similar manner um, take this with v3 equal to 0 then we have 2c1 plus c2 plus 3c3, 3c3 equal to 0. So if we name it as 3, so now solve this uh, 1, 2 and 3, uh, for, uh, uh, for, for this we can do what, mm, we can first add 1 and 2 and 1 plus 2 uh, gives that 2c1 plus 3c2 plus 3c3 sorry 3 3c2 plus 3c3 equal to 0 so give it as 4 name it as 4 now simply just uh, take just take uh, 4 minus 3 just take from here that 4 minus 3 and which uh, from which we get 2 c2 equal to 0 that means c2 equal to 0 and put this c2 equal to 0 in other 2 and uh, by simple calculation we can find that c1 equal to 0 and also c3 equal to 0. So we have this c1 c2 c3 0 that means these 3 vectors are linearly independent so this can be extend it to a basis of v. So option 4 is correct option. So in this manner we can solve this problem just simply by showing that these three vectors are linearly independent or not. Okay. Thanks for watching.